Welcome back. Uh, Marco is here and what you see here is the terrain that I've built with the AAA nodes. Uh, most of all I have used uh, rock formation node together with additional seven or eight nodes uh, to help me add a bit of control and details where needed. Now this is a simple workflow. I have spent maybe one hour on it. So first we're going to start with the rock formation node, just drag and drop it. You can leave the cube, but I suggest that you move it uh, one meter in the Z axis. And from here, all you have to do is just move sliders left and right. Of course, you can use the end panel for that. So you don't have to zoom uh, to see the node better every time you want to change something. Uh, press end to enable end panel. So I'm looking for a nice balance between the empty spaces and the rocks surrounding it. I can adjust the look of the terrain easily in a sense uh, that I can control vertical and horizontal surfaces. For example, sometimes you might want to have uh, straight walls and sometimes you want to have them a bit more organic and irregular. At this point, I was uh, kind of happy, although I did some changes uh, later, uh, with the overall balance of the vertical and horizontal surfaces. And then I added uh, the node uh, named Object Twister, which helps me uh, give a bit of dynamic to the whole terrain. And you can see me testing it here and uh, I think you agree with me that it looks a bit more natural and uh, better overall. So now uh, I'm adding the clone boolean node and uh, with this one I'm actually uh, cloning the original object in this uh, particular case is the cube and uh, making a canyon uh, in the center of this terrain because you need a place that will be a center of the interest for the player or the viewer. So here you can see some more adjustments were made. I'm lowering down some of the uh, flat areas and I'm kind of happy where this is all uh, going. Although I have not planned it, I have decided to add a bit more details to make this video look uh, more interesting. And uh, I have dragged and dropped the instance control node together with the Raycaster node. So Raycaster needs a target object uh, that will control the placement of the instances. And also it needs an instance. Of course, we have built a simple instance from the curve line and the curve circle. And I have added the sphere to be the target object uh, uh, that will control uh, the placement of the instances. Now these are just simple sticks uh, that I have altered a bit and for that I have used Noiser and to use Noiser I need a different curve line uh, so I have dragged the uh, uh, curves straight to the node tree and replaced the original uh, curve line. Now all I have to do is plug the noiser uh, to the noise socket and uh, play a bit with the uh, sliders. Mm -hmm. 
here's another test uh, to see how things look uh, from the first person perspective I have decided to go with a, a normal direction uh, towards the target because it looks way more natural and I hope that you can notice the fall off that the foliage uh, now has Okay, uh, time for something new. I have uh, added the extruder node. So I'm using the raycaster selection to copy the parts of the terrain where these instances live because I want to add a layer of the soil. Now you can use this same principle to add snow or anything really. So here you see me also using the remesher node, which helps me get that organic look uh, for the soil. I have also adjusted the extrusion value uh, to make it uh, less pronounced. So I think it's time to do another test and jump into the scene and see how it all looks. Thanks for your time and talk soon. Cheers.